Welcome to this week's review of the Jaybird X2. I spent the last two weeks with these headphones gathering everything I need for this video. So, I bring you my review of the Jaybird X2. <laughs> So, now let's get inside the box of the Jaybird X2s. So, as you can tell, uh, it's pretty pretty good quality. I mean, for the $130 price tag, you want good quality. And it gives a little image of the earbud itself from the back. And then it shows a full image of what the thing looks like. So, then it says right here that it can go either over the ear or under the ear. So, let, let's go inside the box right here. Got a nice little uh, fabric pull tip right here, so we can just pull that right there, and it'll lay flat right there. There's the product itself. You see the earbud, it's got extra length right there, and then the case. It comes with a case, which for me was one of the biggest selling points, because not a lot of earphones come with a carrying case. So let's get inside. Um, I think right over here, it's a little pull indicator. Just gotta get at that. That. It opens up right there, as you can tell. And it folds out so this thing can pull out. First thing you see are the you know foam ear tips and all the different sizes of ear tip. Okay, so here we have the earbuds, and as you can see, it comes in its own big foam carrying case, and they're really easy to just pop out. You push them from the back, and it pops right out. Then you can just push it right back in from the back put it right back in. So, looking at the two different types, you have the regular silicone ones. They mostly have a green inside and a black outside. Then these, um, they're really foam, and they're sort of like a memory foam almost is to that. They form, and when you form them, they sort of stay like that. And they have a little inner lining of silicone, which is a gray color. But I think, yeah, so the mediums have a um, yellow, um, yellowish green inner color. But um, yeah, that's the main differences between the two, uh, you know, earbuds. And of course, they all come in three different sizes with two pairs for each. They have three different sizes and six fins, so that's good. Um, the case itself, it's simple to open. It just, you just pry it open. And there's plenty of room for the earbuds and anything else you want to put in there. Uh, the little charging port is right behind this earbud right there. It pops off and right there you got the little you know place where you put the cord which is right over here and you can just plug it right in. Then you can plug this into another computer or into the wall or whatever and it'll charge. So just for demonstration purposes I put the large sizes on both of these. First, I want to talk about how the Bluetooth is spotty sometimes. When I go for a walk or a jog, there's slight interruptions in the audio. However, these interruptions happen two to three times per song. I also want to talk about the expensive price of the Jaybird X2s. I bought them at Best Buy for $129 plus the protection making it around $160. Compared to most headphones, even wireless ones, these are on the higher end for cost. I was impressed with the overall quality of the presentation of the product. The box itself is noteworthy. I sure thought that they might use the presentation to cover up the lack of quality with the product itself. I, I was delightfully uh, surprised to see that the buds, they, you know, they're of good quality. For most headphones, a simple plastic box like this one on the inside would have sufficed. But Jaybird went above and beyond with this uh, cardboard hard outer shell case, which was nice. Also, as most of you may know, headphones or even earphones don't usually come with a carrying case. So you can guess my reaction when I saw that this pair does come with a carrying case. Uh, I mean, the case itself, it's cheaply made, but in my opinion, it looks better than the previous ones from the Jaybird X. I must talk about the sport foam tips. Here is one of the main reasons that the price, in my opinion, is justified. These are one of the best tips for earphones I've ever had the pleasure of using. I strongly recommend getting these 
for whatever earphones you end up getting. Before you leave this video, remember to leave a comment and a like if you so want. For more of my content, subscribe to me and support my channel. Um, leave your thoughts of the video in the comment section of this video or in the comment section of my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram posts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.